Hey, hi everyone. So in this example, in this example, we will see how to create custom login page in the Spring Security. So for that, I created a new project, Spring Starter project, and this project name was Spring Security Custom Login Page. So for this, the Java version is same and here the details are also same, but we need to add some more dependencies in it. So I just copy paste those dependencies because I've already taken a backup. In the download section, there is a related to JSP dependencies for here. I copied. I will provide these dependencies in the description so you guys have no need to worry. So in the palm.xml, at the last, I paste it and click on that control shift app. Here I remove that uh, version so that it would be easy. And then once you add it in the source, in the main, you take a folder like web app slash web inf slash views. In the views, we will return the thing as JSP page was here, JSP, and this name was login, login.jsp, and click that. And here, first we will check whether it is working or not. So later we will find the things how to do the custom login. So here we return there and then for this we need to write here. I remove this thing spring dot mvc dot prefix view dot prefix is equal to slash Make sure please give properly here views and spring dot mvc dot suffix dot jsp. So that's it. And then we need to create a one controller. Oh, oh. I think we misconfigured the things. So let's see. Okay, no problem. In this also we can add the things so here anyhow i have added now so here in previous examples we taken the security config right so we can take as it is and in the below you need to write one more class was public security filter chain interface filter chain and here i'm taking http request and this is http so here i've taken that return dot http dot http this is i think HTTP security request. I hope I'm not wrong. HTTP uh, request only. So uh, let me take that. No, this is not. This is HTTP request only. And here I'll take in that return HTTP now. Not authorized. What happened? But this why it's not happening. The security filter chain. We are passing filter HTTP request. Just give me a moment. Extends web security configure adapter. We can get in this way also. 
on shift as we we are you given http security okay so that is that's why we are not getting so no problem sometimes we will get forgetting the things so at being public security filter chain and security filter HTTP security, HTTP, and here return HTTP dot authorized request dot and matcher dot authenticated and dot form login dot login page slash login dot so here you can give success page or else you can give permit all dot build permit all Control shift f so here after returning this and dot build permit all okay add gross exception so in this way you can configure and here in the home controller we need to take one more thing that is at get mapping and slash login. Here, instead of taking a controller, here just I'm taking as a controller. And then here, public string login. Here it's the page was login. For this here, I had to get mapping at response body. So for this, we don't need to configure the things. So that's it. And let's get started in the run as Spring Boot app. We already having the things. So just go there because the server is already started. We don't get any error, right? So um, here. What's happening? OK, the browser is open and then. Localhost 8082. If you can, if you click that, it goes to the redirect page because this is the login page and here this is a custom login page, right? So it's going there. So the JSP is worked fine. So now we can create the login page like username colon. Here I'm taking uh, spring security tag or else white form colon form method is equal to post and action is equal to slash login and here I'm giving username input type is equal to text and name is equal to username this is optional for you and next Password input type is equal to password. Name is equal to password. Flash and here and here we're taking input type is equal to submit and value is equal to login. So back here. 
we need to add one more thing because by default it enabling the CSRF protection. So to, to disable the CSRF protection, we need to get Spring Security. The tag lib maven dependency we need to add in there. So here Spring Security tag libs. This is the dependency from the Maven repository. So. This could be added in the palm.xml. And once you add it, just. Run as no Maven. Update project. Click on that force update. So once you've done it, anyhow, I will be added here as well. So once you've done it, mother version, and then run as Spring Boot app. So it's running, and we remove this. Go there, and then the Slash hello, it redirect to username page. Here, what we configured in the username in the security config, Shiva, and this is the password, and this is the admin, and that is the admin, right? So here, just click Shiva, and password is password, but it's not moving because here we need to add the thing like this one like uh, security tag library. So you need to add this into your JSP page. Once you add it, before ending the form tag, we just click sec colon CSRF input. That's it. Because here I'm taking SEC and the CSRF input. So just added this one line and this tag library and that's it. And let's see. When you click that. Shiva and. Password. OK, maybe I need to rerun the application. So. Run as. Spring Boot app. I have rerun the application now and let's see how the things will going on. Slash hello here I'm using admin admin. It's working right? OK, you felt that. I'm not giving Shiva, so here I'm using. Shiva and uh, password is password. See now working and here you guys have to do. You have to remember one thing here. I'm predefinedly. I've taken localhost 8082 slash hello, but if you guys are taking localhost 8082 and then once you enter your credentials, it will show you like variable error page because you are not given any thing, right? So for this, how can we add default success URL? That could be tell you in our upcoming video. Thank you. Have a great day.